Your client constantly bugs you with requests to make the logo bigger. How about using line drawing animations to really make it pop out? Here's how you do it. Animations are a good way to steer the user's attention to important aspects of your layout. Therefore, animating your logo can be a powerful way to promote your brand and make a lasting impression. Line drawing animations are not only fun to watch, but also very handy as you can use them for almost any kind of logo. Usually creating this kind of animation can be quite tedious though, but with the cool new vector features into Multipe, it is actually fun to do. So let's take a look. Here's the result in the browser. Having the logo reviewed with this kind of animation creates suspense and makes the viewer curious. Using the line drawing with revealing only small parts of the line makes it appear almost magically. Now let's take a closer look on how it's created. The logo itself is basic text and a frame around it. This frame is based on a rectangle that is then converted into a vector shape so we can modify the anchor points. Add one anchor point at the top and one at the bottom. Nudge the two in the bottom corner slightly inwards. There we go. Of course you can use any shape you want here. Next thing to do is creating the animation itself. Here we can use a simple line draw animation from 0 to 100%. Luckily we can do this conveniently in the hype interface and on the timeline. Boom, there we go. Next thing we want to do is to create the fly-in animation at the beginning. This is a bit more tricky. We use the vector tool to draw a vector shape. Don't worry if it looks a little edgy at first, you can always go in and tweak the anchor points afterwards. We create some sort of spiral here. Double clicking on the anchor points adds Bezier curves for smooth round shapes. You can also use the vector tools of course if you feel more comfortable with that. Make sure the vector ends at the starting point of the frame animation. Now for the animation part. In this case we don't want to use the basic line drawing feature, but only show a small part of the line at a time. This is what line dash arrays can be used for. In order to get this option, click on the small arrows next to line drawing to access this feature. Here we can define three values, dash length, gap and offset. For our animation we start with a length of 10 pixels. For the gap we choose a significantly high value like 9999. The offset starts at 0. Now we can enable the record mode to create the animation on Hype's timeline. At the end point of our animation we change the death length to 20 and the offset to minus 1520. Check out the result. Now only a small part of the vector is visible. It seems as if the dash flies along the path. Now you can use a simple appear animation for the logo copy. If you want to add a little extra, use the same animation technique we use for the fly-in animation to create a swish animation at the end. Again, it is just a simple vector with dash offset animations. Such micro animations are best be placed in a symbol, so you can reuse them throughout different projects. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I can't wait to see your results. Make sure to check out the other videos, samples and free stuff on richcontentdesign.com as well. As always, feel free to leave questions, feedback and comments in the section below. Happy animating!